From 1961, the year of the Bay of Pigs, to today, the government of the United States has been embroiled in a series of events which have continually led our nation to crisis after crisis and to the brink of war. Assignment Kill Castro, a true story, is one of the most confusing and frustrating historical events that might have led to a world power showdown. It happened yesterday. It is happening today. It can happen again. Names of persons and places have been changed to protect the individuals who are called upon to aid their country and in so doing, place their lives in jeopardy. I will give my all for the love of my country, right or wrong. G.W. Bell, Chief of Caribbean Operations, Central Intelligence Agency, November 1, 1978. This motion picture is dedicated to all people who desire to live in a free, democratic society. device of any kind, sir? No. Well, welcome to Key West, Mr. Hudson. Uh, my name is Buddy. I work for Mr. Bell. We all work for Mr. Bell, don't we? Beautiful day, isn't it, Mr. Hudson? Gum? No, thank you. You know, uh, that's uh, Cuba out there. We're closer to Havana right now than we are Miami. Yeah, I know. Where the hell are the planes? Where's the fucking airplane? Uh, Abra, uh, usted uh, español? Tony's bar over there. Hey, local hangout. Best barmaids in town. 
So they tell me. If that sort of thing turns you on, sir. I've been here before, young man, so cut the crap and drive. I'm just trying to be friendly, sir. I don't have time for friends. <laughs> Machine gun up my ass. I'm just getting around. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Good to be back. How do you feel? Fine, fine. That's good. He feels fine. I feel like I'm going to have a fucking heart attack. Well, <sighs> I hope not, because if you do, we'll have to leave you here. Won't we, buddy? Yes, sir. Mr. Rossellini, Mr. Hudson. Mr. Hudson, Mr. Rossellini. Shake his hand, Hud. Pleased to meet you. Gentlemen, you've been on the opposite side of the fence far too long. Now, you're both after the same thing, and I can get it for you. But if either of you try to cross me, well, I'll have to throw you over the side and feed you to the turtles. <laughs> Hud, we're going to send you back to Cuba. The political situation there is untenable, and some people in very high places would like to see a change in the leadership. Castro? Castro. We're gonna kill that Cuban son of a bitch! <laughs> I don't see any immediate prospect of, you know, for a long period of time, of re-establishing relationships with Cuba.
see him wave, I want to see him shoot. Whatever you want, Mr. Hud, you're gonna get. Now, pick me up one of those coconuts down there. Yeah, that one there. That's a good one. Now, pick it up here. What are you waiting for, an invitation? <laughs> Come on, move. Well, yeah, you move like an old man. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you something about... <laughs> Coconuts. <laughs> Come on, put it down there. Near me, sit down. Not too close now. It's a windy day. <laughs> friends how much grass and coke I run out of here. I told you one boat, just one, totally clean. No drug runners, no smugglers, and no connections to any of us. Nobody's totally clean. Get somebody slightly soiled. Get me a fisherman, get something on him, I don't care. I want a boat, and a captain who knows every inch of these waters. Every rock, every clam. I want someone I can trust. Trust! <laughs> Trust. You, you gotta be kidding me with that trust. You trust nobody, my friend. You got my guy's order. Know that by now? Yeah, you can always trust somebody if you threaten to take away something he loves. You just tell him very clearly that he's about to lose something important to him and he'll come through. It works every time. I know a guy. But he's a real mean son of a bitch. Hmm. He better be. Come, come. Jefferson, you heard the captain? And the chico. Oh, man, keep the chance. Come on, the captain. Hey, Lewis. Hey, you didn't see my shoes, did you? You lost your shoes again, Captain. Eh? <laughs> oh, there it is. Hi, Captain. Hey, double day. Tony here. Pretty nice, huh, Tony? Yeah, that's pretty nice, yeah. How soon you forget old friends? But Cellini, why are you not a bummy to you, right? Oh. <laughs> well now you got a boat, you got a bar. It's kind of a dump, but it's a bar. It's a lot better than making a book. So I guess you and I are partners, huh, Tony? We'll call that a uh, 50 grand you hit me for. <laughs> Here's my end of the investment. 
I don't get along too well with partners. It smells bad in there, Tony. I don't like being no partner in no place that smells bad like this. It's fumigation day to day. We were killing bugs. Yeah, I know. I kill bugs, too. Tony, listen. <laughs> listen. I got, I got a, a little uh, problem you're going to solve for me. What is it you need? I need you. Look, I want you to get together with this guy, HUD. We're doing some uh, government work. You see, the government, they want to get to Castro, and we want to get to Castro. Now, you, you know how bad that punk commie hurt us when he closed our casinos. What he stole from us, Tony. I mean, millions. I heard you got a new girl. Uh, where is she? You wouldn't want anything to happen to her, Tony, would you? Okay, I will carry you anymore. You're too big to carry, my big boy. Check that stern, Captain. I checked it this morning. Then double check it. <laughs> Tony, Rossellini sent me. The name's Hud. Oh. What do you want? I need you to do me a little favor. Take two gentlemen to an island. Yeah? Just drop them off and pick up a little box. $3,000. Don't forget the box. Bring him in. They tell me you two know the area. Cayo de Pinos, the Cape of Fines. I went there often as a child. And you know the hotel, huh? I remember it. Our father was arrested in that hotel. He died in prison. And you haven't forgotten it. And our Castro goes there every year for rest and recreation. I want you to scout the entire area around the hotel and report back to me. I want to know everything. If somebody lights a cigarette, I want to know which way the smoke is blowing. To be dropped off tonight and picked up in exactly the same place 48 hours later. Suppose we're caught. What do we say? You don't have to say anything. When you get to the beach, you'll find a small box containing heroin. You put that in your pack. Then, if you're caught, you'll be searched. The Revolutionary Armed Forces don't like the idea of anyone bringing heroin into Cuba, so they'll shoot you immediately. Good luck. One more thing. When you come back, give the box to the people on the boat. We've arranged the rest. If anything goes wrong, if there's any problem, kill the captain and his mate and come back to Key West. Bye, Condillas.
off, pick up that box and get back here. I don't like sitting around out here with this full moon. Yeah. Good luck. box here. Two men. They come. I was upstairs and looked through the room. What two men? What two men? Leave me alone. She's all right. She's just upset. 
He'll look after her. Fix the door after you clean up my room. Okay, Hud? That was very dramatic. We're all impressed, aren't we? Where's the box? What box? You opened it, didn't you? I need to know what was in it. Why? Because I need to know. I need to know that those two Cubans got on the island. <laughs> Don't you trust me? Why don't you give us a few minutes alone? <sighs> well, that's a lot of money for wet newspapers. Get yourself another boat, Captain. I don't trust this, uh, Rossellini. If you got a lot to gain if this mission is successful, then why don't you just relax and let me worry about him? I don't like his choice of boat, Captain. Pain in the ass, giving us a lot of trouble. He wants to quit. So I've heard. You've heard? I try to keep informed, bud. The Cubans want him out, so do I. No. He knows all the locations, and he knows the principles. Now, after the mission's over, you can eliminate him. I'll tell you what. I'll bring Tracy in to handle your volatile captain. Tracy? Jesus. Oh, hard. I'm just trying to help out. And besides, I've already made the arrangements. Look, why don't you go back to your Cuban friends and tell them they'll be eating black bean soup in Havana in a short time. Go on. Go home and get some rest. Upset, my friend. When I get upset, I take an Alcazar. He really believes we're going to assassinate Castro. Don't worry about him. That man is a nobody. Now, what about uh, this Tracy? Suppose I take Tony's girlfriend out of the picture. It's a good idea. Uh, also, keep an eye on the captain. He's no problem. Tell me, Rossellini. Who's going to keep an eye on you? Hey, this is your scam, Mr. Bell. I'm doing you a favor. And maybe someday I'll collect. <laughs> Whatever your angle is, just make sure it doesn't get in my way. Are those really Havana cigars? Be my guest. <laughs> again and you're playing games what are you worried about i have to worry about it tony 
I have another mouth to feed. Well, that you don't have to worry about. I'll take care of you and the baby. I'll always take care of you. You know that. I take care of my own. Something you need? Security, Tony. Security? You gotta be kidding. There's no security in life. The only time you're secure is when you're dead. Now, come on, honey, move it. to the world right now. I see. I have an assignment for you, Tracy. Tracy, you are still there. Yeah. I just didn't think I'd be hearing from you again. I mean, after the last time, you were kind of rough on me when you pulled me out, remember? Well, I'm sorry, my dear. We all make mistakes, don't we? Now I'm giving you another chance. You remember Hud? He's in Key West now. Key West, Florida? That's right. And I want you to go down there right away and give Hud some help. Uh, Hud is kind of crazy, you know. Tracy, not crazy. Let's say enthusiastic. Look, I want you to go to Key West and get close to a man they call Captain Tony. You like him, Tracy? He's one of those salty characters. Tough as nails, heart of gold. You'll have no problem, I'm sure. Just how close do you want me to get to him, Mr. Bell? As close as possible. Doesn't he have a girl or anything? We'll take care of that. You just make sure he takes HUD's advice on certain matters. How do I find this Captain Tony? Key West is a very small town. I'm sure you run into him somewhere. What the hell's the matter with you, lady? Did you see that stop sign? Huh? Hey, you know, you're gonna kill somebody. You're gonna kill somebody driving like this. Captain Tony. You gotta you be just crazy. said the magic word. You just ran your... Get your hands off me. This is not a designated swimming area. Call you have the right to remain silent. You have uh, Shut up, Delgado. Hey, you! Come on. Let's get into the truck. <laughs> a very fortuitous accident. She certainly didn't waste any time. Now, if I know Tracy, she'll spin him around again. <laughs> Buddy... Why don't we get the poor captain out of jail? Hmm? Yes, sir. I think sometimes we really take our work too seriously. I mean, just because we have to do terrible things to people from time to time, there's no reason why we can't have fun, though, is there? <laughs> Okay, Fitz, yeah. Thanks, T.D., for bailing me out. Oh, when did you pay me? I didn't make no bail. Oh, yeah? Did Maria send it over? Nope. Huh. I know a lot of people that want me in, Jeff. I wonder who wants me out. Of Yeah. <laughs> 
Why bother? You couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> what are you going to do about her? About who? idea where I've been for the past four hours. I've been with that sick Delgado in his toilet that he calls a jail. So I'm in no mood to put up with any of your bullshit. You know, I should have left you in the ocean. You didn't. I was trying to kill myself. I don't feel very good. Can you get me a room to stay, please? All right. You go over to the Duval Hotel. And you tell Gilda that Tony sent you. And while you're there, think about telling me who you are. I don't believe one word you're saying to me. Not a damn word. Come on, baby. Yeah. Okay, okay, old pal. Yeah. He's on to me. I'll get you some help. Just keep playing him along. This captain, he's no dope, you know. Hey. Hey, you must be Tracy. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Well, Hudson told me about you. Don't say anything. Just tell me. Just play along. Hello, Tony. Your friends are here. Did he bring her in? No, he met her here. You like that dress? Yeah. Good. Thank you very much. I do. Goodbye, Michael. Come on, baby. We're going to a cockfight. No, she's not going to any cockfight. Yes, I would love to go to a cockfight. Thank I, you. I don't think you want to. I don't think you think at all. Excuse me. How you doing, man? How you doing? We're going to a cockfight. Sure, you'll like it, baby. See, I want to give our captain a chance to play hero. Hey, take it easy, Captain. Hey, look, I gotta change these clothes first. Sure, whatever you say, baby. Hey, hey you were an actress once. Well, now you have a chance to act, okay? <laughs> you just act pure and innocent. Or is that too hard? Just get your hand off my knee, <laughs> creep. <laughs> Just speed up a little bit. Sit down, relax. I got a show coming.
interesting, not fighting. Take a break. Harry, watch the chicken for me, will you, pal? I got a little cold. Michael, you dumb son of a bitch. I told you not to take her there. Looks like you had a prize, sweetheart. He likes you. All right, then. let's see some action. <laughs> Don't kill the guy, are you crazy? Hey man, you wanted action, you get action. <laughs> <laughs> Want the cash? I'll take care of it tonight, honey. Okay. You go home? Good night. Good night, Captain. Good night, Dean. You lock up on the way out? I know that I never should have gone there. I know that. For my whole life, I did everything that I should do, and I never did anything that I want. Yours get warm. I've always been the perfect girl. I never got in any trouble. Well, there were a lot of things that I wanted to do, but I never had the nerve to go and do them. You're lying to me, baby. of a warrant. My warrant is right here. There was a killing tonight. You were there. I was with her all night. Yeah, I know. She's coming along, too. You have no warrant. They both were here with me all night. The hell are you doing here, Hart? Wondering what you're doing here without a warrant, kicking in a man's door. They both were here with me all night. You have no warrant. I suggest you leave now. Close the door. Good night. Good night, huh? You owe me one. I owe you nothing. I didn't ask for your help. I won't ask for yours, either. Aren't you going to tell your friend good night? It's all in an evening, huh, honey?
you. Maria, you got to listen to me. There's something going on that I don't understand. It's got me worried. I want you and the kid out of town. You were the one that was talking about security. Yes, I want security. But I don't want to be put away like a room in a closet whenever anything goes wrong. I want to be here beside you. Good times, bad times. But if you'd rather be with the other girl... The girl is part of it. That's right, she's part of it. But the girl is all of it. All of it. Maria. Maria, what the hell's the matter with you? Huh? It's you I love. I don't love anybody else. That girl. She's part of the whole setup. I gotta get next to her. I gotta find out what the hell is going on. I don't wanna put you and the kid in the middle of it. I love you, Tony. Te amo. Well, if you do, then you're gonna do what I'm telling you to do. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's what I get for fooling around with a Spanish girl, huh? I'm not Spanish, I'm Cuban. What's the difference? You're all nuts. <laughs> all right. Now you go home, pick up the kid, and then drive up to Miami and stay with Mama Cita, and I'll call you later. Okay? Okay. Be careful, Tony. You be careful, too, baby. <laughs> talking for you, but the guy did us a favor once, remember? And I figured we owed him one. Besides, a midnight boat ride would be very nice. Number one, you're not going along. Number two, you never talk for me again. And number three, I don't like fat ladies. Guns are cleaned and all that ammo is checked. Already checked it, Captain. Well, double check it. You're expecting trouble? Usually. I'm getting worried, Tony. 
I want to know why you got all this dynamite on board, and I want to know fast. I ran into a gunboat last trip. I'm going to be ready for him this time. I don't want to hurt you, Captain. I do want you to know who's boss. Did you hear him? Good, Captain. Keep these monkeys away from me and my boat. Otherwise, I'll shove a stick of dynamite up their ass. My solo, boys. Turn them loose. Time you move in to relieve the tension. I want you to move quicker. I gotta gotten hurt. All in a day's work, Captain. Yeah, thanks. Sit down a minute, Titi. I've got a proposition for you. You know that five grand we're gonna get. But I want you to have it. I ain't complaining. Your money, not mine. How many kids you got? <laughs> Seven. How many rooms you got in that little shack you live in? Three. That five grand would be just about enough to get down on a boat. And with that sweet Uncle Tom attitude of yours, <laughs> well, you would have all the tourists around here begging to get on it. And in no time flat, you'd be able to buy your wife a new house. Hmm. Is that a deal? Deal, Captain. Don't get sentimental on me. Let's go to the bar. I gotta call Maria. Captain? Yeah. You mind a personal question? Yeah, as long as you ain't gonna propose. <laughs> How do you take care of a woman like Maria and this Tracy at the same time? Well, I don't know, buddy, but I'm sure as hell gonna die trying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna call Maria after all. The kid's asleep. He snores like you. Sort of cute. They're gonna take that gag out of that beautiful mouth of hers. She can scream all she wants now. Nobody's gonna hear her. All she can do is wake up that uh, cute little kid of hers. Now, you wouldn't want to do that, would you, honey? Puta, don't touch me. Don't ever touch me. Please, please. I hate violence. He's unreliable, he's dangerous, he's a threat to the entire mission. He's got that boat armed like a destroyer. Well, maybe he knows something you don't. Such as what? Ah, watch your tone. I'm supposed to be your superior, remember? <laughs> well, such as what does he know that I don't know? Can you keep a secret? Well, now that's a ridiculous question. Of course you can't. I can't tell you all, but I can tell you this. You don't have to worry about your colorful Captain Tony any longer. He's going to die tonight.
the train. Do you see the boat? There's a train to it. Get in the boat now. Tell me the story later. Sorry about your first mate, but get the hell out of here. I need you for another trip, then it'll be over. <laughs> now, you see those turtles down there? They're meetings. They eat people. Well, I'm gonna feed it to them. Because I want you to feel what he felt when a jock ripped him in half. You're both crazy. You're animals. We have no choice. 
You're one person. I'm talking about the lives of millions. Millions. going to be an assassination, huh? What? I staged the whole thing. What the hell are you talking about? Do you really believe that we still overthrow government and plot assassinations and do those awful things that people accuse us of? Yes. <laughs> well, we were naughty, naughty boys then. But now, now we move in more devious ways. But if a crazy nationalistic group wants to go into Cuba and stir up a whole lot of trouble, it is now in our best interest to be friendly and tell Castro all about it. You do get my drift, don't you? We can still take Castro. We're ready to do it. We never intended to do it. Can't you understand that? Now, I'm beginning to lose my patience with you, Hud. I really thought you were a bright man. I started the fire so I could put it out. I was under the impression we were talking about an assassination. You were plotting an assassination. We wanted to be friendly. That's why we had to tell them about you before it was too late. That's why the gunboat. I agree, everything didn't go according to the way I planned. The resourcefulness of a certain captain. Well, I wasn't quite prepared for her. But now, now I think we can close down the whole operation with good justification. Don't do this to me. Hud, you're beginning to take things so personally. Well, I'm working on that. I'm working on squeezing every human feeling I have out of me. Oh, come on, man. Come on. The Cubans have returned to Miami. Captain and Tracy will soon meet their maker. They're going to be killed in a robbery. It's a shame about the captain. As for Tracy, it was our last mission anyway. In Rosalini? It was only window dressing. Although I thought it was a nice touch. He knew a lot more than you did. But even he didn't know it all. You used me, Bell. It happened before and it's not going to happen again. No. I employed you. It's not the same thing. It was my job. Well, you'll have to excuse me, huh? I must move along to the next one. Buddy. All set, sir. Goodbye, Hud. I won't be in touch with you for a while, but you should be proud. You did a very fine job. Thank you. Care of mine, agree? How the hell not? I got reasons of my own to make another trip. I'm running out of cigars. I'm going to Miami. Gonna get whatever troops I need and whatever weapons I can promote. We're still gonna need the marksman. I we'll still need a boat. Somebody tried to kill Tony Sorty. <laughs> you know, he didn't like that. I can't say that I blame him. 
So I may, yeah, I may have to be very persuasive. You do whatever you have to do. I'm going to the island, and this time I'm not coming back a loser. Okay, partner. Whatever you say. I'll make you dead. Maybe you want your knees broke so you can hop around the rest of your life on crutches. That's all right by me. Of old time's sake, I'm going to give you a chance. You sit still and you shut up. You know who you are, Tony. You are nothing. You are big shadows. This island. It's spit across this nothing island. I got your kid, Tony. The kid's mother, too. What are you gonna do, tough guy? Kill me? These robots swat you out like a fly. You screwed us into your head. You're an insect! You know, your kid don't mean nothing to me. I cut his throat. I go over and have breakfast and never give it another thought. <laughs> you see that boat over there? Make sure he sees that boat over there. That boat! You're gonna make me $10 million tomorrow. I got something Cuba wants real bad. Now you wanna see your girl, wanna see your kid? You do what that asshole HUD wants. Cause while you're making all that noise with that 4th of July gun bullshit, I'm gonna make myself $10 million. Tony, you do it for me, baby. Maybe I cut you in. <laughs> Let's get out of here. You ain't going nowhere. You work for me, Tracy. Not for Tony, not for Bell. I'm gonna have to take you out of commission for a while, just so you don't forget again. Got a communist country 90 miles off our coast. Do you know what a threat to freedom that is? There's a man on that island who's responsible and he's got to be eliminated. And I don't care if it takes Tony and you and my mother and the God Almighty. I'm gonna cut that son of a bitch down. And I think those diplomatic bastards in Washington are going to stop me. Because it's going to happen. It's going to happen right now. Take it easy, huh? That 
box is worth ten million dollars. <laughs> Do you hear me? Doesn't anybody hear me? He's going to kill me. Uh, he's going to kill Tony. They've got his kid. Bell, answer me. I know you're there. I know you're there. Don't worry, Tracy. I'll take care of it. I'll take care of everything. Oh, Mr. Bell. Good night, Tracy. I was just thinking. I gotta call up Castro and tell him we're coming to invade Cuba with a boatload of mysteries. <laughs> yeah, he'd laugh himself to death. I ought to do that. He might save us a trip. All right, hon. I'm gonna shut it down right here. Wait, we're miles away. You can try to get to Cuba on your own. Or you can sit and wait here for the real Cubans to come and get you. Now, it's your choice, Hud. You tell me right now. Where's Maria? Where's my son? I don't know where they are. I swear I don't. And I really don't care. It's true. Rossellini has them, not me. I'd tell you if I knew, but I don't care about you or Rossellini. I have a mission. I think I'll call up some people and tell them about your mission. Well, don't you think they know? Don't you think this is a setup just like the last crossing? Mel has already told them that we're coming by now. Just like it was before, just like the Bay of Pigs. This time I'm ready for that. This time I'm going to beat them. I have no concern about what Rossellini does, or you, or Bell. But I think Mr. Rossellini very much wants us in Cuba. And he has your Maria. Not me. Think about that. this one out? 
I told you I'm ready for them this time.
Mucho dinero. Mucho dinero for you, you old fart. Hey, Havana's gonna be high tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
Maybe I'd got even after all. Just like the Bay of Pigs, isn't it? You're getting it all wrong. We had no reason to invade Cuba. Now, why would we want to invade Cuba? We want to be friends with Casper. Hey, A new beginning. We are here again. This is the beginning of the end. We already at the beginning of the end, but we're trying to do it with peaceful means, not by sending a bunch of, uh, of crackpots and misfits from the Cuban uh, Miami community. Gentlemen, back to Cuba in, in uh, what is it, they came in rubber rafts? Is that was the story that they were all our in rubber rafts? Our personal feelings uh, in this matter, please. I'd like to see how this is out of the beginning of anything. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a signal coming from our Miami uh, studios, and apparently Cheryl has some word about the uh, possible confirmation of the American death. We see what happens. Uh, yes, it has now been confirmed that there were three American deaths. We have no further information about that now except confirmation of the, the deaths and the families are being notified. And now, Bob, back to you. Oh, uh, thank you, Cheryl. Uh, gentlemen, uh, yes, Professor Lopez here. Julia, three American deaths. That is very important. Thank you. 